Hello, my name is Joshita Gupta. I have done my MTech from MNIT Allahabad and I am working here as an assistant professor. And this is the digital communication lab. Basically, in UPTU, it is named as Communication Lab 2. And we will perform uh, the experiment of amplitude shift keying over here. As you can see, this is the kit of amplitude shift keying. Basically, what is ampli amplitude shift keying? It is a type of a modulation technique, a digital modulation technique. And we all know what is modulation. A modulation is basically we have to all uh, we have to alter the parameter of the carrier signal in accordance with the baseband or in accordance with the modulating signal. We have various parameters for the carrier signal or any type of sinusoidal signal. The various parameters are its amplitude, its phase, and its frequency. Now, as the name says, amplitude shift key, we will vary the amplitude of the carrier signal with in accordance with the modulating signal. This is the kit for performing the amplitude shifting experiment. We are using this section is the ESK modulator. And you can say this, this is the kit. This section is the code generator. This will generate the various digital codes which is need to be modulated. Then this is the carrier generation, generation section. This will generate a high frequency carrier to modulate the signal. This is the ESK modulator se section. This is a basically this is an inbuilt IC over there. This is 4066 IC, a monolithic type of IC, and this section is the demodulator and then the display. Now, this is the CRO which is connected to the modulator. The initially to the modulate modulation section. We have to give two inputs. We have to give a modulating signal which needs to be modulated and a carrier signal. So this connection as you can see this is the code generator. Here we can give this. These are the various switches. We have 8 bit codes and we can give various combination of these 8 bit codes. Uh, in general we have taken an alternate combination of 1010 for 8 bits. Then after this we have this carrier section. The second input of the modulator is the carrier uh, signal which has been given to it. Basically in, lang in general language ESK modulation is just the product modulation of those two signals. The carrier signal and the modulating signal. So in this ESK modulator we can check the outputs on this CRO. Initially I am putting this node on a code generator. This is a signal which needs to be modulation, modulated. We can see the combination. These are the combination of pulses. This is high pulse, low pulse. High pulse, high pulse represents bit 1 and low pulse represents bit 0. So this is basically a combination of 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and so on this we have taken it for 8 bits. Then the second terminal, this is a high frequency carrier wave. A carrier wave is nothing but a sinusoidal wave of very high frequency. Why are we using this high frequency for a carrier wave? So that we can uh, basically, so that we can cover our modulating signal with, a, uh, with this high frequency carrier wave. So that in such that in uh, via when the signal moves by a channel, the signal cannot be disturbed easily by a noise. So we are basically protecting our baseband signal with this high frequency carrier signal. So this is the waveform for a high frequency carrier signal. Now if we uh, see the block diagram of a ASK modulator, it is basically a product modulator. This, this signal, this baseband signal and this carrier signal are being modulated and the nature because we are studying amplitude shift key so the amplitude of this carrier signal is varied in accordance with this signal with this baseband signal so if we see the output of the modulation after performing the modulation on the given code this will be the output this is the output of the modulation as we can see these are the high frequency carrier signals and the amplitude of this carrier signal is varied according to the baseband signal. So we have the first bit as 1. So the amplitude is high let us say. It is represented
changing plus 5 volts for 1 and 0 volt for 0 bit signal. So this is your plus uh, volt, this is 0, then this is again plus 5 volt for 1 bit, again this is 0, then plus 5 volt for 1 bit and 0. This is the output of the ASK modulation. Okay? We can take, the, we can perform this modulo modulation on any combination of the binary codes and we, we have taken 1010 as our binary code. After that, the signal is next transmitted towards the channel which is then received by the receiver and it is demodulated and after demodulation we can recover the estimate of the original message signal. Precautions which we need to take over uh, while performing this signal is first of all we have to make the connections properly and it should be tight. We have to switch off the circuit first and then uh, switch off the kit first and then make the proper connection and then we have to switch it on properly. Then what do we do? We perform this experiment and as a result of observation we trace this waveform on our tracing sheet and then we place it in the experiment file for the lab records and uh, and this will be the output of the demodulation demodulation what we are doing in demodulation it is the reverse process of modulation we have to recover the original signal which we had uh, encovered with the carrier signal so this is the original baseband signal or the original message signal with the combination of 1010 which we had sent or which we had taken for modulation process. Thank you.